So what the heck are we looking at here? We can see a bunch of words, a bunch of different fonts, and a bunch of different text sizes. And as I scroll out, it'll become more apparent who this actually is. Check that out. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make really easy text art. You can make beautiful ladies like Marilyn Monroe, or you can make any sort of portrait. It's really fun, it's really fast, and it's really easy. Let me show you how. The name of the website is called popartstudio.nl and I'm going to be using the free version in this walkthrough. There is a paid version for 950 euros per month and that takes away a watermark. So what I'm going to be using is going to have a watermark. Now all of these different effects are pretty cool. The one that I'm going to be using is over on the right hand side. It's called a typographic portrait. Now when you get to this website for the first time, you're going to see a stock photograph along the top left hand side. We can replace that. So I'm going to click this browse button and I'm going to pick my own photograph. Once you have your photograph selected, then you can click the upload button. Okay, so we can see now I've got something that looks kind of like Marilyn Monroe here, but what I want to do now is tweak the text. So over on the left hand side, I'm going to enter in new text words that represent Marilyn Monroe. Okay, so I've entered a bunch of text in along the left hand side and now I can click the refresh button and we'll see that this picture will reload using the text that I've selected and entered in on the left hand side. And there we go, it's looking better. Now I want to change the text. I don't want to have it be so big. I'm not a big fan of the really large text. So over on the left here, I'm going to change the text size from minus 40. I'm actually going to go down to minus 75. This goes to minus 100 or all the way to positive 100. And zero is kind of like the baseline. So I'm actually going to go to negative 75. And I'll click refresh. And I think that looks a lot better. Now you can always play around with the other pieces as well. The opacity, there's a background color, there's all sorts of random fonts, capitals, verticals, there's all sorts of different things. But this is the one that I like and this is the one I'm going to use. So I'm going to click the apply button now and that's going to give me my design. There's also a button over along the top right called large print and when I click on the large print button, it's going to give me a larger version of the design. So we can see here I've got it bigger image now that I could play with and I'm also going to click this download button here at the top and I can download a larger JPEG file now. It's kind of interesting. The size of the design is not that big. It's 667 by 1000 pixels but actually when I right click it and I go to properties it's interesting. It's actually 400 dots per inch so it's a pretty high res file which is pretty nice. When I open it up in my picture viewer I can zoom in and it actually is a pretty high res copy. It's not perfect, but if you're making a print or a t-shirt, it is a, a great free option. I really hope you found this video helpful. Lots of great free effects on here. And if you found one that you'd love me to highlight in more detail, by all means, throw it down in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your graphic design skills.